Oh, hello there. Hey guys, welcome uh, back to Tales of Vesperia. Happy Tuesday. Uh, one little thing I want to do. Did you make the title because I said I'd send more fanfic? Yes. <laughs> yes, what what I'm going to do first though, since I, I still have Animal Crossing booted up from last night, late night, late night playing session, I just want to show you the cool sets I built. Because, my god, I put so much time into building these sets only to destroy them. Uh, so hang on a sec. This is the only thing I want to do first, before, and then we'll start. Like, two seconds. Like, two seconds. Uh... And then, and then we'll start. <laughs> this is my bedroom. From my latest uh, Dodo Airlines video, where uh, my dad comes in. <laughs> so, this is, yeah, this is where uh, Get Out of My Room and Playing Minecraft happened. Also, Mommy's on the computer screen, which is the fun little, fun little terrifying detail. Cool. And then, on to the next room. Get out of the way, Tommy. Uh, over here we have... <laughs> oh yeah, this is the restaurant I built. Bill is already- Bill's still sitting down. How did he know? Anyways, this is a little... I built- I had to build two restaurants. I destroyed one of them. This is the other one I built. Um, yeah, cool. And then I- did I- did I have any other sets? What, did I, what else did I do yesterday? Oh, wait, the dark alley. <laughs> yeah, this is my dark alley. Except I forgot to turn the fucking lights off in the video, so... That's a mistake I'm just gonna have to live with. But yeah, this is my... <laughs> Marina's now in the dark alley. Anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. That's... <laughs> Those are the sets I built. I, I spent so much time building them, and then I just destroy them. And since I already had Animal Crossing booted up, you know, I was like, why not just, uh, show some people... And then, oh yeah, this was the air airport bar from the previous episode. I like that all the characters just follow you to whatever floor you go to. So here they all are. Uh, this, yeah, this was the the airport terminal that I built. Okay, cool. Anyways, it's time to go uh, to actually play Vesperia. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed. Where is Winnie? Winnie still lives in my town. I she has not wanted to move out. All right, let's go. Should we watch this even though we get copyrighted every time? I think so. really like this intro. Because I like, um, I like Vesperia's intro more than Symphonia's. Symphonia's, I like Symphonia more than Vesperia, but Vesperia has the much better intro. And also, I actually really, I love the English version. Which I know some people are going to hate on me for, but I actually love the English version. Please check PayPal for Laura. She said she's not here, but uh, said we should bring your attention. It's your attention. Okay, right after the intro, I'll do that. As I speak over the whole thing. Walk on the water.
Okay, cool. Can I take a moment to say Danny's Twitter is a thousand out of ten. Thanks, Erica. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Tales of Asperia. Welcome back. I'm going to read Laura's thing in a second. Just let me boot this up so it doesn't go to the tutorial. And then uh, after Laura's donation, I'll do a quick recap of everything that's going on. And uh, yeah. I have a pretty good idea of what happened last time. <laughs> Carol's fucking dead. <laughs> All right, we could just stand next to this creepy lady that just turns counterclockwise. One sec. Tori, that's a good burn, by the way. Okay. Oh, wait. First, uh, I did have a donation from Kayla with a C. Uh, that was even way before I... Kayla always just, just throws in there before stream even starts. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, at 5 o'clock today, so two hours ago, Kayla sent a $15 donation that just says pizza. It, it doesn't say pizza. It's actually a pizza emoji, but pizza. Why does this girl turn like this? actually creepy after stream last time i left the games like i left the tv on and the system on while i went to go eat and stuff and i came back and the girl's just spinning for no just constantly anyways kayla thank you pizza valid pizza is valid and then we have a oh fuck oh, <laughs> oh. wow uh, <laughs> we have um <clears throat> Professional streamer. <laughs> we have a hundred and forty-seven dollar donation from Laura. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And you said she's not even here. She just, she just gave a <laughs> hundred and forty-seven dollar donation and dipped. Oh my God, Laura! Laura! Laura, you're not here. Why am I? I'm not talking to you. But in case you're watching this later, Laura. Should I drink a liquid right now and try to die? Oh my god. Well, <laughs> fucking hell. Wow, that is a huge donation to uh, start off on. Like, massive. Like, insane. Um, I literally... You, you, Laura sent this at 6.58. So I hadn't even started streaming it because it was late. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, <laughs> so, wow, that is... Uh, Oh my god, okay, anyways, the the message says, Hi, you're cool, and then, it's, it's a YouTube link. Hang on a sec, she sent a YouTube link. I'm actually scared. Who sends a $147 dona <laughs> donation and then just sends a link? But we're going to it. Let's see, I'm going to turn my volume up all the way. Playing through my other laptop, here we go. You stupid. Nah, nah. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. You stupid. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> as soon as I, even before it like started playing, I saw it what it was before it loaded. <laughs> Um, okay, so, <laughs> uh, Laura had wise words, a uh, very important message for me today. You, you stupid. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, uh, so if your favorite person isn't Laura, um, I'd consider, uh, changing, changing that. Okay, here we are. Welcome to the inn. Uh, it's, it's a big word. We just started. I'm not reading that. Um... I talked to Rita and I got items. I just pickpocketed Rita while she was sleeping. Okay, uh, time for the actual recap now that Laura started us off on a great, <laughs> a great note. <laughs> okay, uh, so what happened last time in Tales of Asperia? Great question. Wow, Laura called me stupid and it manifested itself and now my brain, no thoughts, empty head. Um, so we were still going to go look for Pharaoh, uh, because again, insipid poison, this giant creature 
When it attacked Dongrest, it called Estelle. An insipid poison of the world that needs to be purged, yada, yada, yada. Sounds like a whole lot of nonsense, if you ask me. Anyways, uh, Estelle wants to go find out what that meant. So we're looking for Pharaoh, and Pharaoh lived across the sea. So we crossed the sea, we did the spooky ghost ship, and we got this box. On the ghost ship, there was a, like a skeleton clutching this little box. And we can't open it, but we took the box uh, because it was supposed to be delivered to someone. The, the ship had been sailing for a thousand years, but the message with the box was it was supposed to be delivered to someone in this town called like Yorm. I forget what it's called, like Yormdin or something, Yormgadin, whatever it was. Uh, but this is a thousand years later that we're finding this box. So the chances of finding this person to give it to, very slim. Anyways, we're going to try to find that town and uh, find that person. Even though, again, it's been th a thousand years. But whatever, Estelle wants to do that. We also went uh, to the Colosseum, uh, Nordopolica, I believe it's called. And um, we fought Flynn. And we fought Zagi. And uh, a whole lot of other nonsense there happened. And... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we went to the desert, we crossed part of the desert, but we collapsed, because, you know, heat exhaustion stuff, and then we woke up here, what are we doing here, where are we, what town is this, who saved us, is this town even real, who knows, question, is this girl alive, what does she say, okay, well, she's just gonna keep circling, Cactus juice. Yeah. <laughs> Cactus juice. All right. So here we are. Uh, my friends are dead. And we're starting off on a great note. Apparently, I'm stupid. Good morning. Don't you want a morning kiss? Oh. <laughs> there you go, little, little buddy. Oh, Yuri. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. How about you guys? Are you all... Oh. Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So Patty what do got we do in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. We need to find whoever it was and thank them. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. I wonder, was it just a mirage? What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No, I didn't see anything. Then that monster must have saved us or something. A monster saved us? I can't believe that. Was it just a mirage then? So what's the story? Where exactly are we? The kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. Kindly gentleman? Oh, you mean the old man. their outfits <laughs> there's no barrier here this town is weird i thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited rita carol over here what's that the monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it i didn't see any feathers on that thing that's one of pharaoh's feathers oh okay but why would that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. <laughs> Repeat, let's go. It's a great day for baseball. And just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have been all alone with you. That's far too unsafe. Unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Adds to my mysterious charm. It seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Oh yeah, there you go. 
Wait, this is Yormgen? Yormgen. The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monsters. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. I. What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. I agree. Something weird's going on. <clears throat> Oh wait, uh, I'm gonna change some people's costumes now. <laughs> you know, t the time's come. Uh, let's go to... <clears throat> oh, I like that one again. Jesus. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's go back to this one. We were wearing it in the first stream. I like it. Let's go I'm going back to Cat Girl Waitress. It's the only valid one. School nurse, uh, vengeful half elf. Why don't we just go back to what we had? Cause, <laughs> does it? Can you beat that? Uh, repeat. Obviously, still gonna wear baseball. Uh, let's see what you got. Notorious teacher we had on before. I mean, that's a really cool one, but I, like, that's a really cool one. He's actually got really nice um, outfits. I even like this one. It's really simple, but I like it. <clears throat> I thought he said Tori's teacher. <laughs> Look, it's, it's Tori's teacher. <laughs> uh, Carol, what do we got? Towel fanatic? Lunch, <laughs> lunch lady, uh, golden soldier. We had that on originally. Brave Vesperia. Wow. Okay, you're gonna lug that around like an idiot. Uh, and then Patty. Oh yeah, Patty's keeping that for now. Cause I mean, come on. It's Mythos, most valuable pup. God, every one of Repeat's things are so funny. Like, what is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Interesting. Interesting. Please, anything but the baseball? What, you guys don't like the ba- Are you kidding me? If Repeat's not wearing the baseball outfit, who's gonna be my comedic relief in every every single scene? <laughs> it's it's literally the best. It's so funny to me. I I think ba I think I have to keep it for now. Should we change Yuri? I like his hair in the ponytail though. Like I like it too much. <laughs> oh fuck I. Eh? It's, that's actually kind of beautiful. Oh. Keep True Knight, please. Yeah, you're right. Foolish of me to even attempt. Should we give him anything else? A halo? He's dead? Devil outfit? Wings, perhaps? Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about likes and dislikes, you know? Yorm and Mantic are totally different. It's much cooler here. Maybe it's the ocean. The ocean is very nice, yeah? It's a beautiful place, too. But it seems boring. I wonder what the folks here do for fun. 
I kind of like it. This kind of calm, quiet village suits me. I can't stand loud people. Oh, that's gotta hurt, old man. She was talking about the town, not about me. Hmm, maybe. D do you really hate me that much? Oops. You came from across the sea? You must be so tired. You've been on a ship for a long time, yes? What? No? Blastia? What's that? What's Blastia? This town is currently facing a terrible crisis. <clears throat> the threat of a giant monster attack. Everyone says we can accomplish anything with the sage on our side. But is it all right to believe that? Is there an item shop? I mean, there's a dog. There's a dog. Whoa. If you have a question, you should ask the sage. You can really depend on him. Our current mayor is too young and unreliable. Did you guys elect the mayor? That box. Do you know something about this box? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Look at Yuri. Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum too? Uh, yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Yuifan. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. I is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Wow, is this the clear seal crystal? It's definitely clear. Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? Uh... But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emmied Hill in Ker Bakram. But I don't think that sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. Uh... I'm sorry, I don't really understand. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So long she set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Something's Wait, not adding up. This sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? <laughs> How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself. But who really knows? Is that sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the sage. Yes. Maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the clear CL crystal to the sage for me? Yes, of course. Why is Rita the only one shaded? I don't know, there's just a cloud only above Rita. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go! A gem inside a red box. Let's bring it to the wise one. Suspicious quotes. <laughs> a town without a barrier. Might not have a barrier, but it's sure got a good dog. I had no idea there were villages in the middle of the sands of Kagor. I'm impressed they've managed to live here without a barrier to protect them. 
They don't even have outer walls. Any monster could destroy this village easy. I don't feel like I could really get a good night's sleep in a place like this. Ugh. I do wonder how they handle the danger of wild monsters. I guess everyone in town is just really strong. Could you be any more stupid? <sighs> oh. Even repeats like, guys, seriously? I just... I just want to go to my game. We're taking a lot of detours here. Sage's residence. All right, repeat, you stay outside. We know what happened last time. You saw a carpet. <laughs> Took a little, little number two on it. Excuse me. Oh shit! It's huh? Hey, you're who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You. How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked, as in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... <laughs> no matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blastia, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Throwing out a lot of words around here. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Dude. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! Duke? It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Dude, man, come on, what are you oh, doing? Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apathea bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? That's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a child of the full moon? What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Dude, you could help us out a little. Throw us a bone. Every time you talk to him, it's like talking to a brick wall. I cannot answer that. I have no need for this. I'm going to break your crystal, bitch. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from... She went offline! ...talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Oh no. We okay? We alright? 
Do we survive? That's weird. Oh no. Hmm, okay. Um All right, that's weird. Okay. Well, let's hope that holds. <laughs> Okay, anyways, uh, my point was, before it went offline, that Duke is literally, like, the least helpful person in the world. He's like, he doesn't help at all. Just, just smashes your stuff, uh, doesn't tell you anything, doesn't answer any questions. Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. Yeah, we're learning about the Entelechea right now. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait. There's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Oof. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. I don't think it was Duke. Duke literally went, Why are you here? How'd you get here? <laughs> Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light you are named Child of the Full Moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean, like, becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, Patty, I'm with you. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. And Danny. It's too complicated for you, too, old man. And Danny. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. Smog, you're the old man. All right, out on our own. Doing cool things. All right, so we just got uh, a lot of information and a lot more questions. What's up with the Entelechea? What is that? What is? What actually are the Entelechea? Who knows? They didn't really explain. Why is Duke the worst? Why doesn't he tell us anything? Who knows? Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? 
wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Yuri must ask you a question. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, I ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem! No problem. Oh my god, it's the person who spins in circles. And they're still doing it! Oh god. Oh my god, dog. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon. And the Antilochea. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you... It seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Entilakea, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life, and I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <sighs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, is this a store? Yes. Oh, look, it's a general store, not Fortune's Market. Neat. All the other stores, Fortune's Market, run by the guild. This one? Nope. Oh, I guess I was good on items, eh? Oh my god, this kid's so fast. Would you like a skewer? Where were you keeping that? Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not, but I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. I, but... You're used to it, huh? I, I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily going to listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Very specific. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. Mm. Mm. This is good. 
didn't I tell ya? She was like sitting on it though. Finding my Spitfire, thank you for the five dollar donation. Got fired for messing up the vibes. I need stream Wait, what? Finding my Spitfire, I'm so sorry, but what what does that mean? Messing up the vibes? Sorry to hear that though. You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes. I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No. Must be your imagination. Where's, um... Where's the boy? Where's Carol? Got him. We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best. But would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh, yeah. It is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city? Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the Nordopolica. Hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. There's a lot of talking going on here. All right, we have to find Rita, I believe. Oh my God, there's a cat here too. And it's asking a question. I have nothing left to say to you. <clears throat> gonna follow him what's the point he's not gonna talk to me so this was a complete waste of time well I wouldn't go that far Apathea when the air crane went berserk Regay, I mean Jaeger was carrying this box this box was what messed up my magic you think the Apathea is what's causing the air crane to go out of control judging from the evidence it could be a valid hypothesis so when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was Apathea nearby? And the Air Crane and Cave Mach too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apathea's been damaging the whole world's Air Crane little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. <laughs> Welcome to science class. 
All right, cool. What are we? We good? Time to go to the inn. Why does he have a mustache? <laughs> uh, I gave it to him because he looks very good. Don't try to tell me he doesn't look good with a mustache. Can I go to bed now? Is that what I gotta do? Yuri grew it when he's out in the desert. Oh, there's a chest here. Alright, where's my team? Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crenae and the Weezen of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea, too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is. Bellius? Yeah. Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantek. And that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. Wow, we're all doing different things. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? Y yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Entelikea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Entelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantic. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Aye, that I will. Alright, let's get this show on the... What are these names? Yeah, Vesperia's got the weirdest names for towns and things Didn't and... did Elias only meet with people on people. the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Hey, there's a cat on the roof over there. Look at that in the background. I <laughs> just noticed that. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Alright, uh, we have to go back to Mantake, that city, the Oasis City, I think. Oops, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, um. Let's work together! There we go. Oh, at least we're back to fighting finally. There's a lot of information to take. What's the baby one? That is mean. Watch out. This one's tough. Whoa! Oh, oh, I like that one. Hang on, let's get that one in here. Cerber strike 
I've already used 452 times. Let's put on... Shoot, what was it? What did I just learn? What did I just learn? Was it this? Oh, not that. It wasn't that. Shining thing. Okay. Let's try that. Woo! We're done. We're done. Yeah, I feel good. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, uh, fuck. Okay. Let's go. Nordic Polica would be... Uh... Somewhere. Oh, I see the barrier. I think that's it. And to the desert. Yeah. I want to shower. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, I can't wait to fight this one. We must be cautious. Okay, uh, you need a bottle here. Just How's this? Oh my god, I love this new attack. Woo! Wow. I have an idea. A cornered cat becomes a lion. Or so they say. What? Oh boy, oh man, we are dying. We are, we are, we are dying. I did not even realize. We haven't fought anything in a while. We're kind of, I think, at the under level point again. The sign of victory. Yay! Yeah, pretty good. Don't die to a non-boss standing. Listen, I haven't died yet. I'm not dying now. Well, I guess we'll listen to I Want a Shower. Oh, what to do? Is there a problem? I'll die if I can't take a shower once a day. And in a dry old desert like this? R really? Rita, you have to do something! Huh, idiot. She'll be fine. It's not like she's a flower. Going without a shower won't kill you. It's been ten days since I last showered, actually. It's been that long? Oh, God. I'd be on my deathbed if I were you. I sense a faint but pleasant scent coming from you, Rita. I've got it! Rita's not a flower, she's a prickly cactus! Die! <laughs> <laughs> Die! <laughs> ten days. What the fuck is this thing? Bro. Bro! Don't fight it? Are you sure? I, I haven't died yet, so I don't really want to blow it. I'm trying to fight some... Crazy ass 
whatever that is. Whoa! Listen, we almost died to a cactus earlier. I don't think we can fight that. You're too underleveled for it. You mean I'm on the perfect level? Can you can you run away from that battle? Like, can I enter it? You know, size it up and then and then dip if things go south, or is it like uh, I'm locked in that battle if I start fighting it? You can run away. Okay, let, let's 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 see. Let's see. We'll probably end up running, but my curiosity is killing me. Oh, is that all? Dear Lord, this thing's big! Oh, we're already dead! How much life do you still have? <laughs> you have any... Okay, okay, it's time to go. Oh, I'm paralyzed! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh boy, we gotta go! <laughs> that was so scary! We learned. We learned. We learned something. This one's pretty tough. Don't just stand there whining. Danny, our ears, Elmo. I'm so sorry. Uh, did you see how scary that was? You're using too many arts. I, I'm sorry. Like, did you see how terrifying that was? Pretty vicious. You're one to talk. How the fuck do I get out of this desert? That's it. You knew it was coming. God, where is the desert end? You didn't need to be in the desert to begin with? Oh, really? Fuck, should I go back? Which, which way to man take? Dude, that's a scary monster. Alright, so I guess I'll just go back. You're in too deep now? Oh my god, which way do I go? Do I continue pushing through? Or run? Back. You go left in the last town you're at. Okay. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. Tori! Nice name. Oh. Hang on a sec. Tori, thanks for the uh, $2 donation. Hey, B. Hi. Thanks. 
Go down. Oh, now, now you want me to go down. Fine, we're just gonna go forward. Fucking hell. It's like when everyone was yelling at me in Subnautica. You don't need foundation. No, you need foundation. No, you don't need foundation. No, you you probably want foundation. No, you don't need that. Oh, here we go. Oof, we're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Oh no. It's come more. Humor. Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children. I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. <laughs> you guys better bail me out if this goes bad. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Doing great. So you did pick that up. Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard. Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their jobs slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol, don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. <laughs> Look at Patty. What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach! I will find out who's responsible for this! I've gotta hand it to the little runt. You did it. <laughs> <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. The knights... Anna, thanks for the five dollar donation. I must stash you a question, but I'll shave it for later. <laughs> I, kn I knew someone was gonna say that. <laughs> thanks, Anna. <laughs> Listen, I was thinking it, but you said it.
stream is dead. Oh, here we go. Oh, no! Okay. Great. Stream's fucking dead. What's going on? Ah! Okay, well, great. Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on today. I have no idea. It did this um, on one of the other uh, Vesperia streams too, remember? This game <sighs> doesn't like Vesperia. <sighs> There's a cat here. There you go. Cat for your problems. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, my god, it died. Oh! Jesus Christ. Yeah, OBS is, um... Is going through it. It's still live. Yeah, it's live now. Will it hold? I'm gonna be right back, actually. I'm gonna go... I don't know, maybe my housemate messed with, like, the internet or something. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Give me one second. Oh! Everything's fine. So I don't understand. So I use my own internet here. Uh, I'm just surprised it's um, why it's dying. No one else would be on the network or anything. I'm directly plugged in. Cables Danny? Nope. Everything's plugged in. Everything's fine. I can't figure it out. Yeah, let me check. I'm gonna check on the capture card.
I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna try to keep playing and hope uh, it doesn't happen again. Fuck. Oh, you've returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. That Humor Punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? It's probably <laughs> some kind of disease. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but at this rate, they're gonna send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen if I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Estelle. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita. Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Humor out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Kumor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. Uh, don't give you any ideas. The only cure for stupidity is death. Don't give him any ideas. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe I gave him a mustache for this. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. It looks like he's smoking from the pipe. Wait, did you... What's Judith sleeping on? The wall? What the hell? There's there's empty beds, Judith. Q more. Hello, come more. You're no. Yuri, it's you! What are you doing here? Someone! Someone come quick! You would cross swords with a noble? Very well. I accept your challenge. No! How could this? You talk too much, Qmor. The time's come for you to make your exit. D do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? <laughs> Wait! I'm not the one to blame. I've just been following orders. I had no choice! Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait, how about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start. I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead. Tell me what it is you want. 
There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, then what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kilmor, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! Oh. I beg you, spare my life! Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? Dark. Oh. My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting down at the lake. What a... the worst person to see you do that. <laughs> what's, what's, what's this person doing? Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes. It's a great relief to know that people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But Qmore might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch! Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time! Right, Yuri? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yup. Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Rita, aren't you only one year older than Patty? Shut up. You knew it was coming. Huh? The old man's asleep already? That was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. Alright, we gotta go talk to Flynn by the lake. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> it's a party. Even flying fish can't match the distances we've traveled. I'm exhausted. Wait, what? Oh, you found me. What? I'm scared. Yeah, me- what? I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, anyways, here we are. Why don't you have a seat? You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill Chumor? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong. 
or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, sorry you had to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. <sighs> Captain! Understood. Sir! Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal. Oh, wait! Repeat! Yuri. So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. It's true the things you've done are against the law, but I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. <sighs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. He seemed like he was in a hurry. No. I'm gonna continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. <laughs> Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is... Here's to the road ahead. Thanks. And there you have it. Haven't sawed logs like that for a good long while. Yeah, it's called oversleeping. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Hey, old man, your eyes are all droopy. What? That's not good. Jeez. Huh? There are fewer knights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. <laughs> Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Paul Estrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the Knights. 
I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? If I can't go to Nordopolica, I can't get on a ship. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crane and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Alright. Wow. So, uh, some dark stuff just happened. Q more. Well, he's... He's no more. Thanks to your... I mean, Yuri didn't technically kill him. I mean, he did, but he did. Kind of watched him be buried a lot. You know, act wow, actually, it might even be worse. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Yuri. Body count. Two. Uh, okay, where are we going? Wrong exit. Hey, Carol. What's up, Yuri? We finished Estelle's request. Shouldn't Brave Asperia start looking for other jobs? Yeah, you're right. Hmm, I wonder what should we do. We could get a job in Dongrest if we uh, were union members. Hey, kid, didn't you know? The union will throw you work even if you don't join them. They take a cut, but... Really? Really? Uh, but it'll take some time to return to Dongrest from here. If we could find a union's outpost staff around, uh, we might be able to get a job. Then why not look for them? Judith, you coming? Woof. Should, what should we do about Pharaoh? If this is something we need to do as a guild, I don't mind. Thank you, Estelle. Okay, let's go. Cool. Anyways. Dan, there's a little extra scene if you sleep at the inn again. Uh, we can try. Hey, Estelle. Oh, Yuri. What kind of bird is that? Is that what you were going to give us? Uh, uh, sorry, is that what you were going to give us as payment? Yes, it's a memento of my mother. Your mother, she passed away? Yes, when I was still a child. What about your mother, Yuri? It happened when I was a baby. I don't even remember what she looked like. I see. I thought that I was special, to never have a father or mother while I was growing up. But you, and Carol, and even Rita, you all grew up by yourselves too. That fucking noise. Well, in my case, everyone in the Glow Quarter helped raise me. Everyone in the castle helped raise me, too. But I still felt lonely sometimes. Whenever that happened, I would look at this memento and think of my mother. It helped bring my spirits up a little. What you're uh, doing trying to give away... What are you doing trying to give away something so important to you? You should keep it. After I started this journey, I completely forgot about the memento of my mother. I think because I was with you, Yuri. I didn't need it anymore. I had stopped getting lonely. Are you going to get rid of it? We all have to leave our old memories behind. Everyone else is living fiercely and not worrying about the past. I need to learn how to grow up and move on too. If you don't want it, let me hold on to it for you. Yuri. The time will come uh, when you're going to need it. You're going to want to reevaluate who you are. You'll need it to remind yourself who you were and how far you've come. You don't want to make any rash decision decisions now that you'll regret later. Maybe. You're right. But until then, please take care of it for me, Yuri. If I lose sight of where I'm going, I may have to fall back on it. There'd be nothing wrong with that either. Mother's Memento. Cool. Uh, I'm behind on donations a little bit, so I'm just going to read through some. Um, James, thanks for the $5 donation. 
Danny, three does not equal 1,000. <laughs> Me. And he says he's not good at math. Thanks. Thanks for hyping me up. And my awesome map skill or math skills. Thanks, James. Kyle M, welcome to the cult. Welcome to the Members Club. Sorry for uh, being very late reading this, but welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, actually, I'm going to be revamping. Uh, speaking of members. Thank you again, Kyle. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to be revamping members on my channel soon. Just how I kind of want to do revamping of Patreon. Um, what the fuck? Sorry, is there... What's going on back here? Who are you? Oh, I don't... Is this a mini game or something? I don't really want to... I don't have time for this. I'm getting out of here. I gotta get back on... Back on site. Whatever you're saying. I don't have time for this. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to be redoing members, because uh, I just learned you can uh, actually make uh, tiered members. There's member tiers you can actually add. Uh, so I want to actually add some perks and do some other cool stuff. I'm going to try to figure it out. Uh, but yeah. It's not a minigame? Well, it's also not in my interest, so I'm dipping. Wait to fight this one. Don't just stand there whining. Shiny Top tier gets emo Danny. Oh god. We can't lose. No one gets emo Danny. <laughs> no one. Okay, ah, uh, how the fuck do I get out of here? Where's the cave? Oh, it's right over there. Good day. Ah, are you going to the Weasand of Kados? Yes, we are. Why do you ask? The Imperial Knights have sealed off passage through Kados. It's not just here. They've set up blockades at all of the routes through the mountains. Blockades? Why would they... I don't know all the details, but I heard that it has something to do with some danger in Nordopolica. What should we do? We need to get to Nordopolica before the new moon. I wish I could help, but they wouldn't even let me through, and I have a travel permit. Are you a member of the Fortune's Market? Yes. How'd you get a permit? The Empire issues travel permits to Fortune's Market so that its members can travel wherever they want. At least, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. But the Imperial Knights wouldn't let me go any further. I'm going back to Mantake, since there's no way to get around them. Should we go back to Mantake and chill out too? Hmm. What are we gonna do? Do you think Flynn ordered the blockades? Hmm. <sighs> I couldn't say. Either way, we can't afford to be stuck here for much- Yes, it'll be a lot of trouble if we miss the new moon. But I don't think they'd let us through, even if we asked nicely. Well, to be honest, we can go take a look and think about how to get in. The hard part will only come once we've gotten inside. What do you mean, once we've gotten inside? <coughs> oh, bless me. They set up blockades to make it hard to get out of the mountains. Getting- I think that much is safe to assume. Well then, should we go back to Mantake to do some final preparations? No, we're fine. Let's go like we are. Cool. So why did the knights set up a blockade? Baby sneeze? Charlie, you know what? Get, get off my stream. <laughs> the Flynn Brigade. So, that's the <laughs> Look at Yuri! Yeah, looks like it was Flynn's brigade's doing after all. But... What are those monsters doing here? Perhaps they've been tamed by the knights? This brigade is reminding me of Flynn less and less. What the hell is Flynn doing with his knights anyway? Hardcore tactics like this? There ain't any doubt in my mind this has something to do with the talk of Bellius engineering the Great War. So how do we get past this checkpoint? Huh? <laughs> 
Seriously? Let's do that. What could they be talking about? Old man, do you mind keeping it down? Sorry, sorry. Now that sounds like fun. How about this? Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the hell? Stop it! Settle down. Let's go now. So the hey, plan hey, was don't leave this old man behind. Shoot it with a gun. What the? Come back, you. Yuri Lowell. See ya. Have fun. It was, that a, was, pretty it was slick, quite the plan. Man. What are you saying? That was all thanks to Patty. Humans work a lot harder when they get rewarded, don't they? Rewarded? What are you talking about? That's our little secret. It's just between us, right, Patty? So annoying. <laughs> it's our little secret. What is that nonsense? It's probably some useless promise of theirs. Anyway, let's keep moving. Probably. Oh wow, the knights. Um, Russian fighting knights. Oh wow. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh, I died. I di I passed away. That's not good. Typically not on the good side of things if I die. Why are these guys so strong? The Why are these guys so strong? For me? Sure is. Hmm. So did you just murder some looks knights? Looks like they aren't following us. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Hey, this is no game. Seriously. Now that's what I'm talking about. Combining Patty's brain with my technique. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, but they went and sealed off a dangerous place like this just to isolate Nordopolica. These guys mean business. Seriously, even bringing monsters to help? Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. I can't believe that Flynn would order something like this. Hey, what kind of person is Flynn? He's Yuri's friend. I've heard they've known each other since they were children. Sometimes orders coming down from the top don't make sense. The meaning can get lost going down the chain of command. When a brigade gets big and famous enough, things can start to get out of hand. You certainly know a lot about these things. Makes sense for someone in Altosk. Things can end up like that no matter what the organization. What worries? Oops. I'm sure we'll get a good understanding of that as soon as we can get to Nordopolica. That's right. But we should be on our guard. Even though I find it hard to believe that they've conquered Nordopolica by force. Yeah, I think the Palastrale would have a problem with that. 
Sorry, Rita. You won't get much time to investigate the Air Krenny. Ugh. Oh, well. I don't have much choice. It'd be bad if they caught up to us. Exactly. Come on, let's get going. Yuri sure is enthusiastic. He won't say it, but I reckon he's just worried about his friend. Do Flynn and Yuri really have that strong of a bond? Hmm. Well, you could call it strong, I guess. Maybe. What? Are you jealous? Hmm. I'll have to hold a strategic meeting to stop Yuri from being snatched away from me. <laughs> what? Only the Empire has enough power to cut off all the ways in and out of a whole town. Well, the Guild's power is totally different. The Union would never try something like this. It's the Empire's style. Crush problems with everything they've got. What are they after? Who do they think they are, sealing off all the roads like this? I think the answer to that lies in Nordopolica. We should hurry before we're caught. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is our fate. Soon enough. Oh, oh boy. Oh! This guy's so strong. And dead. Scene. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need a lemon gel. Right this now. isn't good. How careless. You're gonna need a lemon gel right now. I can't take much more. Don't overdo it. Why is this standing? Watch yourself. You don't want to be next. Oh god, stop dying everyone! That's over. I mean if you leveled up the see the thing is, is that this is a speed run. We don't have time for that silly nonsense. Leveling up. Try not to take too long, okay? Sure. It's completely inactive now, and it was overflowing so much before. Is that how the air was controlled? How could a monster do something like that? Is that air crene safe now? We'll be in trouble if air shoots out of it like before. It doesn't look like you have to worry about that. So why'd the air suddenly shoot out before? That's what's puzzling me. Maybe it was just a natural phenomenon? The probability of that is low at best. If that was the case, it should be emitting air at regular intervals. If air were emitted that frequently, it'd have an effect on the environment. Like how the plants grew so unnaturally in Cave Mock. Looks pretty normal around here to me. So perhaps something else interfered with the air crene and caused it to discharge air? What could do that? Only a formula or blastia could affect air like that. Damn, that would be our fan club. Seems like these knights are just as dedicated as the captain himself. Rita, let's go. Are you done looking at the air crene? Just let me think a little more. If you just need time to think, you'll have plenty of time once we've gotten out of here. Mmm, all right, all right. Repeat, not on the carpet. Um.
If the air crinny was disturbed by... Did you figure anything out? It's still too early to say. I've got some leads, but it's nothing I can be sure of yet. Well, make sure and let us know when you've nailed it down. I will. All right, let's head out. And it'll probably involve you. You know what? Fuck this monster. In particular, just this one. Let's eliminate them! You like that? <laughs> Fucking stupid reindeer horse thingy. Oh boy. Maybe it was a mistake to fight this. Maybe. You don't want to be next. And dead again. You know what? Fuck it. Not worth it. I'm out. Gotta know when to go. Take cover. Huh. Guess it's only natural they're guarding this end, too. Patty, do you have any ideas for getting through? Hmm. Raven, can you do something like you did before? Best not to press your luck when the knights are taking their work so seriously. They don't look that serious from here. I say, woe is me! How has our illustrious Schwan Brigade ever been reduced to playing backup for Flynn? Enough complaining. If you don't like it, we better produce some results. There they are! Capture them! Uh oh. They found us. What is this? You three, don't let him escape. <laughs> Time to murder them. Uh, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell. Hey, LeBlanc, it's been a while. Uh, and your highness. What are we gonna do? Oh well, here goes nothing. Wait. Attention! Y yes sir! Not sure what's going on, but now's our chance. <laughs> what? Huh? Whoa! Raven, what did you do? Ah, it's nothing. Enough standing around. They'll catch up in no time if we don't get moving. We can't miss this champ! Yeah, let's head for Nordapolica, quick. <laughs> Forgot about that. That was weird, right? Oh, that's a fast little monster. That was weird, though, right? Here, repeat. Have a skewer. <clears throat> that looks quite tasty. Boiled eggs are the best part. Nonsense. Daikon is the centerpiece, Patty. Daikon. Hold up now. That's unexpected. Usually, you're happy with anything you can chew through, Rita. That's just how good skewers are, but both Rita and the old man are wrong. Where are they mistaken? The true star of skewers <laughs> is fish cakes, especially the white ones. <clears throat> fish cakes, is it? And repeat agrees. Well, I don't mind as long as it's tasty. You know what? I'm fighting this hamster. This one's strong. Ooh, <laughs> You're just scary. fucking dead. Good start. Harry. There you go. That's how it's done. <laughs> Just spam Azeroth. And that's called... Gameplay. Learn skill, happiness, and happiness too? 
the long-awaited sequel to Happiness. It's Happiness 2. Oh no! The trilogy's been complete. It's Happiness 3. It's like the movie Deer 3. Coming soon to theaters. Um, Kyle, thanks for the $5 donation. Vesperia Battle Theme 2 slaps. Oh, yeah, no, it definitely does. I'm with you there. This game has the weirdest names for places and people and things, but damn, the soundtrack really does slap. You know what? I haven't played as Patty in a while. We're going to have to bring her back out soon. <laughs> Here we go. How do I learn happiness? <laughs> oh, good thing I had to pick Patty for the bird fight. We all know how that went last time. Let's go. Danny's at the same level I was when I got here. Good luck from now on, King. Great. Level 26. Let's go. Let's go. Kylie McCoy thanks for the two dollar donation. Hey, Danny, joining late. Fill me in. Um, let's see. Well, there's a night blockade. Basically, we we fell, we passed out in the desert, as per last stream. Woke up in a strange town. Met Duke. Gave us some insight on the Entelakea and um, I forget what the the crystal things are called. And uh, now we want to go back to Nordapolica because Flynn has set up a little brigade here. Uh, and we kind of want to know why because he's attacking. This whole brigade is basically attacking Nordapolica right now. That's, uh, that's not good. We need to know what's going on with that. Also, oh, sorry, did I forget? Yuri committed a second murder? That's, uh... Probably the most jarring part of this whole stream. Apatheia, okay. Oh, look at all those boats. Jesus. That's not good. Um, before we go into Nordapolica, I think I'll just take a quick pee break. Oh, I do have a couple PayPal donations I do need to read through, so I will be doing that. Uh, when I get back, I'm just gonna BRB real quick, take the first pee break of the night, and then, uh, I'm gonna figure out what the fuck's up with Flynn. Is Bellius okay? Who knows? We haven't even met Bellius yet. Anyways, I'm gonna BRB real quick, and, uh, we're gonna hope Stream doesn't die anymore. <laughs> that isn't in a little bit, not to jinx it, but... Praying. Praying. Sometimes it dies when I take the pee breaks, so I'm worried. I'll come back to no stream, just gone. So, BRB.
Alright, I'm back, and I gotta say, virtual, I can't imagine the pain of being only down three pieces of art. God, that'd be so hard to get the right ones into this, it, like, in red stock. Anyways, I'm back. It's like when I played uh, City Folk, and I just needed one piece of art left, just one, and it never came. I've told this story before, but... It was the common painting. Of all the paintings I needed to complete my collection, the common painting was the rarest painting for me. And I never got it. I never finished it. I've never finished an art section in any Animal Crossing game. i finished every other section in every game, but never the art section. P rating. Um, let's say, uh, yeah, it's like, honestly like a six, I guess. I guess. Also, a 420 donation. <laughs> oh, wait. You know, I'm just gonna fight things while I read donations. Hang on a sec. Just, I need to grind anyways. Anyways, a $4.20 donation. Nice. Uh, from Luma Bird. Hang on a sec. You know what I can do? I'll put myself on... Nah, I'll fight whatever. Spam thing. It looks like I'm hitting nothing, it's because I'm reading. Uh, hey Danny, it's been a while uh, since I've caught a stream, but just so you know, I'm still here supporting you. I've been rewatching some of uh, my favorite series on your, on your, of yours to get me through a tough, depressive episode. You rock, Mr. Dinosaur. Luma Bird. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Luma Bird. Nice to see ya. Always a pleasure. I, sorry to hear about the depressive episode, but... I hope you rebound out of that. What the hell even are Patty skills? Bloomberg, I hope hope you're taking care of yourself. And uh, yeah, no, missed ya. Glad to hear from you. Thank you for the donation. I have a Go one still. cent donation from quick. Tori. Uh, please direct your attention to Discord DMs for more flurry fanfic. All right, all right, hang on. Who's ready for fanfic? From Tori, courtesy of Tori, who's ready for it? It's coming, one sec. I'll be out of battle for that one. Alright, 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 All right, here we go. Time to read today's fanfic. See, Tori's helping make sure that my, my uh, title for the stream isn't clickbait. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Did you mean it? What you said? Flint says softly, dropping his guard. Would you kill me if I got in your way? Wouldn't you? I... Wouldn't he? As a knight, it's his duty to bring justice to anyone who defies the law. He believes in that code with all his heart. And it's that sense of purpose that shot him up to the ranks so quickly. But there have been countless times where he could have turned Yuri in, and he didn't. Because he knew Yuri was right. Because he knows the system is corrupt. But also because it's Yuri. He'll always believe in Yuri, even if the world is going to flames. He'll be fine as long as he's fighting alongside Yuri. Does his devotion to his best friend hinder his path of justice? Or does having someone to count on make him a better knight? 
Yuri puts a stop to his spiraling thoughts with a kiss. Uh, I hate... <laughs> I hate when you have that look on your face, Yuri... Sorry, I hate when you have that look on your face. Yuri whispers against Flynn's lips. Yuri. Yuri kisses him again, shifting closer on the bed. Turning more toward him, Flynn reaches up and grabs Yuri's shirt, shirt by the chest and pulls him closer, kissing Yuri as though it's been like this. This fiery passion answered uh, to his calm deliberation. Like pieces to puzzles. <laughs> to a puzzle, they fit together so perfectly. Flynn could never see a life where he doesn't have Yuri next to him. He doesn't want a life where Yuri's not next to him. Just one kiss. One kiss. Just one kiff on the lip. Flynn. Kiff. Kiff. There you go. And th there, there you have it. That's, that's the fanfic. Get ready. I'm taking you down. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, thanks to for sending that. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You just gotta kiss your best mate. If you don't kiss the homies, I don't know what you're doing. Was that a little too painful? Yeah, probably. He's dead. See, this is why I need an audible sponsorship. You're right. Look at that. <laughs> you're right, Goober Cheese. I give chat a kiss. <laughs> Well, there you go. So that's that. <laughs> they, it, yeah, it works a lot better to send that through Discord, though, as you can tell, because uh, if it was, if you send, if I read it through the uh, the PayPal donation message, it sounds like a, I'm a text to speech robot because there's no pacing. <laughs> uh, Nyla, not do I say that Nyla? Is it Nyla or Nila? Uh, thank you for the six dollars and forty-six cent donation that just says, "Please no mustache." <laughs> oh no! You know what the next great donation war of our time will be? Mustache versus no mustache, an ongoing battle for the rest of the series. We have to take it off for now. Now it's currently funding the the non-mustache agenda. I'm sorry. Guess we'll just sub it for this. Or this. Um, and I have one more uh, PayPal donation. Oh, well! From Mandy for $50. Thanks, Mandy! Hello, hello. It's been a while since I've funded your bitch chat. <laughs> just wanted to say, howdy, virgin. I love you. The map lover. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Mandy. I love you too, and your bitch ass. I like that you say bitch ass. You said bitch ass. <laughs> thanks, Mandy. Love you too. Does anyone not love Mandy? Because I would like to have a word with them. If there's anyone. I really doubt it, but if there is. Ah! Get ready. I'm taking you down. You know who doesn't love Mandy? This angry wolf thing. And that's why I'm senten sentencing it to die. This is a live demonstration. If you don't love Mandy, Judith will come skewer you. My coworker is watching. He'd hop in to say that he does. <laughs> All right, we're back in Weird Town, where everyone has the weirdest idol animations you've ever seen. This kid. Wow! Look at that! Look at that animation. Hmm. 
Not as many knights as I'd have guessed. Yeah, security looks normal even with all the commotion. It did sound like they had their hands full with the monsters that managed to escape. Yeah, but it's too quiet. Especially compared to the checkpoints back at Kados. I think Raven's got it right. The knights are up to something, and I don't like it. But it looks like we can stay in town as long as we don't stand out. So we'll meet with Bellius on the evening of the new moon, which happens to be tonight. Let's stop by the inn to freshen up and then go see about me. I'm finally gonna be able to get rid of the Don's letter. Patty, what are you doing hiding over there? I can't tell if that's the sound of the ocean or the sound of my switch uh, about to explode. It's, I think it's both, actually. Don't you remember? A lot of things happened the last time she was here. One sec. Oh, yeah, it's my switch. <laughs> Come on out. It'll be okay. <laughs> Is it all right for me to be with you guys for just a little longer? Huh? Um, sure. We don't mind, do we? Right. But it'd probably be best if we stuck together until we left town. I have a feeling that even if we parted ways here, we'd still end up meeting again real soon. So basically, there's no difference between us being together or not. Switch go brr! <laughs> I really don't get that logic. I'm sure you're all heading in the direction of the Maristella. Yeah, I don't get that either. In other words, um... In other words, you want to come with us, right? Rather than traveling by myself, traveling with you guys is more profitable. If you want to come, then come. At this point, I really don't mind an extra travel companion or two. Yeah, can everyone just stop having reasons that they have to justify why they're in the party? Like, in Symphonia, everyone's just gang gang, they're just all hanging out. <laughs> they're all one for all and all for one kind of thing, and then in Vesperia, everyone's like, I, I think I should still stay with you because I gotta go look at the air credit. somewhere. Do you think? When we finish up all our business here, I've got a few things I want to ask that guy. When you do, take me with you. <laughs> Imagine it's my switch doing the seagull noises. Wait, is this a fortune's market? Oh no, I think the fortune's market's upstairs, right? Let's go check that out. I need to replenish. I lost so many life bottles fighting deers. Oh, this guy's my favorite. He's really showing the wind who's boss. Was that a wind scar? Yuri with the mustache? Wow, I really have missed too much. Hi, Danny. Yeah, you, you did. I had to take it off. Someone donated it for, for it to be removed. <laughs> That's how bad it was. Someone actually donated so that I'd remove it. <laughs> and I can't put it back on until there's a donation saying it's time to put it back on. <laughs> so we'll live, we'll live this life for now. The mustache is at the whim of you guys. Need to stock up on holy bottles, you know I'm gonna be using those again. Hang on a sec. Ice cup, ooh. Sorry, just, just synthesizing for the first time. Just so that Spence doesn't yell at me. 
<laughs> I do, I'm doing it for Spence. Um, where was I? Oh, see, thanks for the $5 donation. So, Qmore not going to come back. Honestly, after that, I doubt it. A lot of sand filled his lungs. Looks like... No, oh, you know what? No, it's a Tuesday stream. Uh, thanks, so. <laughs> Danny, you read it wrong. Oh, so come more. Not gonna come back. Oh, you know, is that is that right? Either way, I was gonna make an even worse joke to follow up your joke. <laughs> Spence, thanks for the two donation. Justice for cows. They don't deserve this disrespect. See, I made it up to Spence for ignoring the cow next to the sand pit. I synthesized two weapons. That's two more than I'd ever done before, so. <laughs> Thanks, Spence. Uh, Kyle, thanks for the $5 donation. Kithith for everyone. Kith. A little, little kith. A little, little kith to you. And a little, little kith to you. Wait, where's the drunk girl? <laughs> kith. Oh, you need more than kisses. You need, like, professional help. I, I still don't get why that girl's doing that. Thanks again, Kyle. Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure. You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. The big cheese! Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. What? Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have oh. to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. About who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? What? Oh, hey, it's the old, it's the old gang. Carol's old gang. They were just here. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Kendall, thank you for the $20 donation. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Danny, I've been crazy uh, lately as you have passed on the moving curse to me. Oh, God. And I always... Also have to move house, unfortunately. Stream is definitely a great distraction, as you always put me in a better mood. Love you, nerd. Oh, no! Kendall, where are you moving? Hopefully, it's not... Hopefully, it's a good kind of move. I mean, moving's stressful regardless. I actually hate moving, like, a lot. That's why it takes me so long. I'm still in between places. I'm actually almost not in between places. I'm finally... I'm probably going to be actually in my new place permanently this week. Um, so, that, that's something exciting. Um, I'm bas I basically have everything I need now. And most importantly, I got an air conditioner unit. Uh, the last one. Because, uh, it's so hot out in Canada right now that, uh, and my, uh, new apartment doesn't have air conditioning already, so I had to buy a unit, a little portable unit, and thank God. So it's actually livable now. It wasn't before that, because it's been like 32 degrees every day. Wait, since when did you move to fuck? Smog, where have you been? <laughs> where have you been? Just an hour and a half away from where I am now. Kendall, no, that means you're going an hour farther away from Adrian and I. We'll still all have to hang out. What's that in Fahrenheit? Uh, Diana, that's like... It's probably 90-something. 
Let's look. I'm gonna look at a 32. Celsius Fahrenheit. Yeah, so, so 32 is 90. Uh, 90 Fahrenheit. 32 Celsius is 90 Fahrenheit. But And with humidity, so the adding the humidex, it can get up to like 39 degrees here on some days, which is... 102. So anywhere from that range, from 90 to like 100-ish area, which is quite hot for Canada. I know in some parts of the world that's not that intense, but in Canada, uh, to have that every single day for like weeks now um i mean sometimes it's a bit cooler like like some days it's 28 29 but yeah for canada to have that consistent of hot weather like canada has hot summers i know it's a myth like people think that canada is very cold but it's actually only cold in the winter i mean depending where you are canada is huge but it, you know in most places canada it's really cold in the winter but it's actually quite hot in the summers uh but this summer is especially hot Thirty-two is so hot. See, Danny would agree because Danny's from the UK, <laughs> and thirty-two is is hot. Anything over eighty is too hot. Yeah, honestly, my favorite temperature is like twenty-five Celsius. Which let me do the calculation. Sorry, I know I'm drawing this out. Seventy-seven Fahrenheit is my favorite temperature. That's it. That's my favorite one for. For the Americans. 77 Fahrenheit. How do you play hockey in that heat? Wouldn't the moose die? <laughs> yeah, everyone knows moose is very required for hockey. Um, oh my god, did you know... Speak. I'm, I swear to god, I'll continue in a second. But we were talking about this on Discord last night. Uh, do you know... Most people don't know about the loonies and toonies of Canada. Do you know what a loony is? If you've never heard of it, it's our $1 coin. It's a gold coin, and we call it a loony because it has the Canadian loon on it. Um, the goose. It's a goose on the coin. Um, and then uh, we have toonies because it's just $2, and as a polar bear on it, it's a $2 coin. <laughs> we, so we have loonies and toonies, and ev people in Discord were like, that's not real. You're making this up. And I'm like, no, this is very real. So yeah, loony uh, is the loon, so it's the loon. Uh, but toonie's just the funniest because they're like, all right, it's a two dollar coin, so it's a it's a toonie. All right, let's go. We've come to meet with Bellius. Your, oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Don Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent. So if you wouldn't mind letting me through, you may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But you can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Let them pass. Duce, but I... Is that really how you pronounce that, Duce? <laughs> I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay then, we promise. Our leader, Bellius, is waiting just ahead. Who wants to meet Bellius? I wonder if Bellius is a werewolf. Or like Inuyasha or something. Hey! What's going on? Everybody still here? Yes. Yo! <laughs> Why is Raven so much cooler than everyone else? And 
here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. I wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palastrale. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think then that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed. We have governed this city for ages. Wow! That's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Entelikea. Thank you for your input, Repeat. <laughs> the guy just wants to go to baseball. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Don has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. So, some of you tear down cities, and some of you run guilds. You Antilike are definitely... interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit. Is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We Antilikea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelise. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison, but what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! <laughs> oh, dude! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! You're pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? What, what do you mean? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to rapscallions. Okay, White Irving. <laughs> As if I really care. Where's Nan? Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Coliseum about now. Like, bro, you think, like, we could get, like, Pizza after this? I got, like, mad munchies. We hunting blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we meet out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast.
It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Who do they think they are? What a bunch of total clods! I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the hunting blades. What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the knights, I mean Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now, though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Whoa, dudes, that big yellow dog had a lot to say, huh? <laughs> Sorry, but you're going bye bye. I'll blow you away! That's my favorite thing to do. Oh my god, the child of the moon just did a hex! She's hexing the moon! Let's go. Let's go. I'm not done yet. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, shut up, that's serious. I actually have no idea what that's about. Uh, I've just heard people reference it. Uh, I still have to look into what the hell that even means. Oh, when did Rita die? New Moon Blade! Holy crap, what is she doing? What was that? Was that a little too painful? Someone literally hexed the moon. Yeah, okay, I don't know what that means though. What it what, what does that mean? I like that I got a potato. From that battle. Hey, look at this guy. Idiot. Fools! <laughs> what are these guys doing? These are the worst guards I've ever seen. We'll destroy them in no time. Means they put a curse on it. What? What? Is that e what? Can't I just put a curse on the moon anytime I want? I'm just getting started. Well, the battle's over here, so it's a bad time to just get started. She brought that to the start of the battle. Oh, I... This is awful. Could man have done this? Repeat, what are you looking at, buddy? <laughs> buddy, where are, you, where are you staring? You all right? Nat says gone to defend the Colosseum from the hunting blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll... If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've gotta go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. 
What's Nats' favorite sport? Nats car. I'm, I'm leaving. The Coliseum is now under the authority of the Hunting Blades. Withdraw. Man, you've got to stop. Carol, what are you doing here? You know that Boo. <laughs> guilds are strictly forbidden by the Union. What are you talking about? This job was commissioned to us directly by the Union itself. What? Harry, what are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongrest? That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? It really was Nat's car, yeah. <laughs> sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with them! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Raven is with them, and he's an ally. Let them be! Nan! <sighs> oh, down to your last friend? Why not play with us for a while? More of Belius's minions, huh? We're brave Vesperia! I don't care how brave you are! Death to those who side with the monsters! <laughs> what are you guys wearing on their heads? We'll destroy them in no time! Uh, ooh, you need... Fight! You know it's coming! <laughs> I love that so much. Man, these guys are just going crazy. Looks like we got here in time. You must be a healer. You've saved me. I wonder if Bellius is okay. No! Ah! Dutre! Nats, you are unhurt. You would yet challenge me, humans? Your kind is the root of all evil. of evil, Bellius? Oh, you got it all wrong. Just look. All monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It, it is up to us. To the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You. You monsters are all alike. Dude. When's that saw coming? Judy. I'll heal you. You mustn't. Your power is... No. W what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is... Hey, Estelle, I think you... What's going on? I don't think you helped. I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Coliseum. Please control yourself! Duce! We have no choice but to try and stop her with force. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe this! But it doesn't look like we have a choice. Elias. Estelle, wake up! Right. Yeah, Estelle. Why are you sleeping with your eyes open? Here, 
Here she comes! Killer B- What? Why can't I use this? Be kill. Okay. Oh, oh so my goodness. Good, good start! Good start! Cool. Fuck it. What the fuck? God damn it. Holy shit. What is my power? The poison that there Oh god. Is this illegal? I, I, is this allowed? Is this... struggling to just leveled up oh but guess who did it
<laughs> Just like that. This is a no death run, for real. Even when it was looking dire. <laughs> so under leveled. <laughs> Oh man, that, oh wow, I feel good, that was a good fight, I had fun, I had fun. Let's look at the grade detail. Uh, blast defeated! We lost a lot of grade in a lot of areas. Uh, damage taken, where's the character deaths? Yeah, ally character defeated, player character defeated. Yeah, max HP at the end of battle. Oh yeah, gr congrats Estelle, thanks for that. Manual mode, okay. BAM! It's because you sent stuff. Yeah, Spence, that's it. Who knows what the outcome would have been if I didn't make those two swords. <laughs> ah. Anyways, that's it. I didn't think gray, the grade mattered. Yeah, grade matters for New Game Plus. Uh, that's what it's for, but yeah. Uh, I didn't even know. I don't know what this. What was the secret mission? What was I supposed to do? Use fire to relight the can all the candles. What happens if you light the candles? Does she? Uh, does Bellies go back to one form? To remove the copy of Bellies. <laughs> I just fought both the whole time. I just fought both. <laughs> oh my god. Doing things the hardest way possible. Alright, welcome to stream. Alright, cool. Let's 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 walk away from that. Um uh, Erica, thanks the two dollar donation! Here's a kit! Just a moon tea kit. What a good time to receive a moon tea kit. Thank you, moon tea. Uh, <laughs> Kiramon, thank you for the $5 donation. Bring back the stash. Hashtag Fur Vegeta. Hashtag BBZGT. Hashtag GT does not exist. It's not canon anymore. Alright, Kiramon said it. I have to put the stash back on. Oh! Oh, anyways. I just, sorry, I just wanted to live in that for a little bit longer. Alright. That's the logical outcome. It's the logical outcome. Ooh, that's nice. It was very nice. You can repeat level though. He's at a baseball game right now. I don't even know how he did that. It's over. Duce, no. What now? I never thought this would happen. Estelle, you should probably try healing her again. I'm sorry. I... I... Worry not. You were thinking only of saving me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just... Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. Now, go to Pharaoh, if you would learn of your destiny. To Pharaoh? That's... There is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Duce! No! Wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Bellius. Farewell. This is... is this the same as what was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapathea! What does that mean? Convey my soul, this cyano seal, to my ally, Don Whitehorse!
So, this must have been what Harry meant. Humans, we'll be taking that stone. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you until you do. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapons! Damn, look who's here. You! Take anyone still standing in the Coliseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested. I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bars. You're right. Escape is our best option. Baseball! I've secured an escape! Hurry! Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No, I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... It really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but... I only brought about her death. I couldn't save her. Didn't you? What? Uh, but I. Let's move. Okay. Wait! Raven left the party. Bellius! Sad. How could something like this happen? There was still so much we needed to ask. Yeah. Think of all the knowledge that only an Entelakea would have. Not to mention her perspective as the Duce of Palestrale. Why couldn't we have met her sooner? Yuri. Alright, I have to put the mustache back on, even though it's a sad moment. <laughs> Here we go. So a lot just happened, wow. Uh, that's that theme is really sad. Poor Bellius. Oh, cool. Glad you're still operating right now. I didn't even blow through all my items. Wow. Ooh. I did use eight light bottles. Though. This place is swarming with knights. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor then. But what if the harbor's blockaded too? Well, the Weasand of Kados is blocked off. Oh, hey, Monica. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah, escaping by sea might be better, yes. Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. I hope it's actually got a new Saris Blastia, though. Perfect. Then I'll handle the Blastia. Hey, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Right. He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. <laughs> Yuri Lowell, this is the end of the line! Oh, Sodia, shut up. Lady Estelis, you must return with us. Captain Flynn is worried about you. But I... Estelle's not going back with you. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. <laughs> this night. You guys aren't part of the hunting blades, are you? If you are, I'm gonna have to arrest you at once. Oh shit, oh god. Flynn! Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Return Lady Estelise and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apatheia? So the knights are trying to get a hold of this thing too. That's why the hunting blades were here. It's like what that guy in Normgen said. 
The apatheia brings only chaos to humanity. So it's true. Hand it over. Whoa, is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty. But you can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting orders. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he? If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Captain! What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it! You men, raise the anchor! <laughs> yeah, man, raise the anchor! Raven! Where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey, that's the guy! Yeah, I know the stash is really killing it for me. <laughs> what? Full speed ahead. What's happening? Judy? Where's this power coming from? Is it the Saris Blastia? Yeah! We broke through! The rudder handling's perfect. What's the deal with this formula? I've never seen anything like it. What? What are you doing? No! Stop! Why would you... This is the path I have chosen. You're the dragon freak! Judy, wait! Goodbye. Judith? Why? Why? Oh. Our genius mage is given the Ceres Blastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Ceres Blastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. She always goes above and beyond in keeping her word. So luckily we still had the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're doing. Oops. Wow, so, uh, Judith is... Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but... Not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. Wow. So, a lot of stuff just happened. <laughs> okay, um. 
Damn. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my probably final pee break. We probably have an hour more of uh, playing, and it's a lot to take in. So I'm just gonna take a quick BRB, and let all that just happened uh, digest in your brains for a little bit. I will be right back. But a lot did just happen. I'm as shocked as you guys are. I forgot any of that was gonna happen. <laughs> so that's all. It's all news to me. All right, I will BRB real quick. Oh, sorry. Keep this music on. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, here. I'll I'll just keep the music here. It is good music. So I'll BRB on this screen. Okay, it's me. So there's a lot, eh? A lot, a lot happened. The end of the guild. I was okay with taking out bad people on my own. I couldn't tell the others. Not before with Estelle, and not now. I got to face up to the choices I've made. It's been weighing on Carol too. Who knows what'll happen to Brave Vesperia? How was the pee? It was a sad pee. That was a sad out of ten. That's what that was. <laughs> Damn. Oh, and I have a PayPal donation, a $30 PayPal donation from Mandy. Hello again, Mandy. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, hello, me again. So can you do me a solid and give everyone a stash? Is that a thing? Can we make that happen? Hashtag team stash. Okay. Is that a thing? Can you... Does anyone else have these accessories, or is it just Yuri? <laughs> Estelle with a stash? Yuri stash emote when? Oh, that would be a good one. 
You can. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Mandy, your uh, your wish might come true there. <laughs> oh god. So again, thanks, Mandy. I'm gonna see. It's open, but there's no point in going inside. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's coming. It, hey, repeat. So many things to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. Sorry for dragging you around, repeat. Right. There's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <laughs> okay, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it's pretty bad. Jeez, this isn't usable at all. Damn it. I can't believe that Judith was... Why was she with us in the first place? That dragon, Baul, right? It attacked us back in Hellior, didn't it? You've got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Repeat whines once more, realizing the baseball game is once again postponed. Yes, she knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, I can't believe you! <laughs> yeah. We all have our reasons for what we've done. You and Judy both. You mean... And me too, of course. You mean Rago and Kumor? Huh. I don't care much about what happened to them. What you did may have been a crime. But if you ask me, though the severity of the crime may differ, there's no such thing as someone suspected without cause. Are you saying the same goes for you? Who knows? I mean, even that woman was... Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but if she had just shared what she knew about the child of the full moon, and about the Entelechaea, Estelle's problems might already have been solved by now. It depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poison after all. You know, it's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe so. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that Blastia. Well then, if Judy comes back, you can feel free to beat her up. She's not coming back. Hmm, I couldn't say. Oh. Oh, dude. Ah, there you are, boy. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey, way to hurt a man's feelings. I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. That's one list you can just keep to yourself. I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out that Bellius was that beast. Sorry, I mean, Antelikea, was it? Yeah, but it seems like the story about her engineering the Great War was a lie. Probably just an excuse the Empire made up for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe, yeah. So is that the Don's grandson? How'd he end up here anyway? This idiot got fed false information by Leviathan's claw and acted without thinking. I heard that an ally of the Don's had been captured by a monster. And I thought I'd come to save him. And then, I heard that the monster possessed Apatheia, so... They said that Bellius had been captured? Apparently that's what Leviathan's claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. And that monster was actually Bellius. So even though you got the Apatheia, the ally you were supposed to save ended up dying. Yeah. You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. Damn it! What the hell do you know? Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him. So he works hard not to let anyone down. Things like this happen. Palastrales not going to be too happy about this. Even if he didn't have any choice but to fight, I doubt they'll take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That would be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce. It's the others in the guild we have to worry about. Well, I don't know how to get out of this mess. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Don. Take the ship to Doncrest as soon as it's working again, would you? Gotcha. I actually do know how to get out of this, but an eye for an eye. 
It's a matter between guilds, after all. Oh boy. Can you see anything? I don't see anything at all. After what happened to Bellius, and with Judith breaking our Blastia and running away, I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> that was painful. It's not funny. But you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So what are you all rattled about? Don't you remember? Bellius said to take good care of your kind nature. My power is the reason that the Entelechaea hate me, isn't it? What's with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power on the Entelechaea, to them, I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. But Belia said you should try to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right? No, that can't be. I'm the one who'll decide my destiny. Now you've got the idea. Pour one out for Bellius. Pour two out for Bellius and Marvel. Genus, you are like a grandson to me. How's the ship heading? Hmm, apparently we're being pushed north by the current. I see. Sorry for making you come all the way out here with us. Don't worry about it. This was my plan from the beginning anyway. Well, I'm happy that we've got someone who knows how to pilot a ship, but you've got to go treasure hunting to get your memory back, right? That's okay. I'm just gonna take it easy. Life's longer than a bright red eel's ear or a slimy eel's body. Well, that's better than living life fast and recklessly. Besides, it ain't bad being here with you, Yuri. I'm glad to hear that. When I think about that, I start feeling like maybe my past doesn't really matter. But that doesn't mean you're going to quit searching for your memories, does it? I, I'd like to know more about my grandfather, so I can figure out what I'm going to do in the future, and how I should think about the name Ivory. I see. Then I guess you can't stay with us forever, huh? I, but I've realized that there are many more good things when I'm with others, than when I'm by myself. So, when my memory returns, I'd like to travel with all of you again. Yeah, if we get the chance, that might not be a bad idea. When that time comes, maybe Judy can also. I don't know. Judy has her own reasons for not being able to be with us. I hope your reasons haven't changed by then, though. Bye bye, small fry. Yeah. Oh, Yuri. What's the matter? You look more serious than usual. Yeah. I was just thinking about how hard it is to put a guild together. I thought things might go okay since I was with you guys, but... Have you lost faith in your ability to lead the guild? No, not at all. I'm working as hard as I can. All right, then I'll borrow from your attitude and do the best I can too. Hey, Yuri. Can I... Yeah? Is it true that you... that you killed Rago and Kumor? It's true. How could you keep that from me? You kept meaning to tell you. I'm sorry. Even though I think it's bad, you don't regret killing them, do you? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. Flynn and Estelle were trying to bring them to justice, too. Did you really have to kill them? I think there are some things that you have to do. Even if they're a crime, someone has to do them. Even if it means taking the blame. Maybe so, but... Even still. I just did what had to be done. You shouldn't force yourself to try to accept what I did. Yeah. Um. What to do now? Jump overboard? Well, 
I've finished making adjustments to the Blastia. I've checked all the other parts, too. Everything's ready. That's great! We'll be able to use the boat again! If you don't mind, I'd like to bring Harry back to Dongris first. We need to head to Dongris, too. Right! We've got to deliver Bellius' Apatheia. Why don't you let old Raven take care of that for you? What do you say? We couldn't ask that of you. Oh, that hurts. Still can't trust me after all we've been through, huh? It wasn't a formal request, but I feel we should honor Bellius' dying wish. It would be unjust if we didn't deliver it. Yeah. Besides, we're also at fault for Bellius ending up like she did. We've got to own up to what we've done. The Dawn also might know why everyone wants these Apatheia so badly. He was trying to get his hands on one too, don't forget. If we can learn more about the Apatheia, we might find out why Flynn's been using such extreme measures. Well then, I'll make sure to set things up with the Don for you. Really? A wiser man than I once said, even chance acquaintances are decreed by destiny. If it's meant to be, I don't mind putting in the effort for brave Vesperia. I'm going to meet with the Don too. You too, Re A lot has happened. And I get the feeling it's all connected to this Apatheia somehow. So... It was the Don that told us to go find the Apatheia in the first place. He just might have something up his sleeve. So, Rita, you're with us as far as Dongrest? I'm going to Dongrest too. Because going with us is profitable? Well, as long as you're piloting the ship, this works out well for us too. It's not just that. I'm going because it sounds like there might be clues about my memory in Dongrest. Didn't you say that the Dawn in Dongrest was a friend of Ifried's? Hmm? Oh yeah, I was talking about how Ifried and the Dawn worked together when they fought the Empire. Then the Dawn might be able to give me some clues about my memory. Well, if that's the case, then let's travel together. Jeez, that old geezer sure is popular. I hope he doesn't get so busy that he faints. That only leaves Estelle. I think she needs some time alone. I agree. I wonder when we'll see Judith again. Hey, once we've delivered the Apatheia, let's go see if we can find her. That's not a bad idea. Besides, she broke the guild laws, and you know we can't just let that slide. Right. At least not without hearing her reason. But first up is Dongrist. There'll be a stretch of beach along the southern edge of Tolbikia where we can lay anchor. I'd wager that'd put us as close to Dongrist as we could hope. Okay, sounds like we've got our destination. Oh boy. I love how everyone has to keep justifying they're, they're allowed to come along with the group. Like, guys, just stay in the group. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Let's, let's put some stashes on. Oh no. Doesn't work with this one. Hang on. <laughs> yes! So it doesn't work on all of them, but it works on some of them. <laughs> oh, no, not this one. Oh, but he can't wear it with the baseball outfit. He's the only one who's not gonna have it. Oh. Also. Also Patty, because I don't want to change Patty's costume yet. But there we go! <laughs> this is the gang. <laughs> exactly, Tales of the Stash. I think this is going to be our look, at least for the rest of this stream. Might change it up later, but for now, we're Team Stash. Okay, uh... God, where the hell are we going? In the middle of the ocean. Um... That's the ghost ship. We need to go back to Dongris. Wherever that is.
Okay, wait, to get to Dongrest, can I port, like, dock here and then walk all the way back? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Is there, like, a quicker way to get to Dongrest? Can you sail to Dongrest or no? You can dock by the tower thing. Okay. How do I bring up the map? Oh, oops. How do I bring up the map? I don't know where the tower is. Is it over here? Where is it? Get Y. Okay, okay. It's still so small. I don't understand what anything says. Uh, the tower. I don't even know what Dongress is. Okay, wait. This is the good port. And when I say good, I mean <laughs> not the sad one. Uh, and then. You can fast travel, can't you? Can you? Is that a thing? Where am I? Bro, is it even on this continent? when I need him. Wait, that's Dongress right there. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I thought that was Heliord for some reason. That's Dongress that I was staring at. Heliord's up there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Look at the stash gang. The tougher the better. That last battle was sure fast. I wish all battles were that easy. Easy? I don't know. I didn't feel much of anything. I wanted a little more action, you know? Oh, you're a fan of getting beaten to a pulp while struggling to beat some crazed giant monster? Ah, uh, don't put it like that, old man. It's not struggling. It's fun. So much fun. The best part about a battle is its raw challenge. It's raw challenge, huh? I kind of like the way that sounds. Ah, uh, sorry, but I prefer to avoid the hard-fought battles. They're rough on these old bones. But that makes it even more fun. How's that? <laughs> That's for you to find out, old man. All right, we made it. I'm gonna take this one with me and pay the Don a visit. These things usually take a while, so why not hang tight at the end? I'll come over when I can. Wait, can... can I come with you? Hmm? This is union business. Not sure you'll have much to talk about. I... actually... there's something else I wanted to ask. Can't it wait till you bring the apatheia with everybody else? It's... I'd rather ask it on my own. If it's not too complicated. Go and give it a try. I can't make any promises, just so you know. Thanks! I'll be right back, guys! <laughs> Statue. <laughs> Do you think we could ask about the Apatheia as well? Mm, that qualifies as complicated. You've got that right. Hey, wait up! Where do you think you're going? I've been to this city before, I think. That again? Well, this city does have a history with Eifried. It wouldn't have been strange for your grandfather to have come here. That's true. I'm going to go ask around a bit. 
Be careful that you don't end up like you did in Nordopolica or Mantic. I know. We'll be at the inn. All right. Let's be good kids and wait for Uncle Raven at the inn. Good kids. Guild versus Guild. The town's quiet now, but it could get ugly quick. Yeah, well, we've seen our fair share of ugliness. Not like this we haven't. Do you think Palastrale is just gonna take Bellius' death lying down? The Don's grandson is wrapped up in this too. I guess they can't just let things slide. The guilds sure make a big deal about their rules and settling their scores. Exactly. <sighs> what a pain. I don't get it at all. We're kinda caught up in this ourselves, you know. Just be ready if things go bad. I know. Let's just hang out at the inn. Estelle and I will be resting in the inn. Uh, but, but I have to... We're going to get some rest. What about you, Yuri? Mm, yeah. Oh, shit. I could use some time off my feet, too. I just spam. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Yuri, please wake up. Yuri! Oh, huh? Oh, I was really zonked out, huh? Good morning, sleepyhead. Oh, it's more good afternoon now, ain't it? Oh, hey, old man. You're back. What about Carol? Haven't seen him since I left the Union. I reckon he's still there. I hope he's okay. Well, since the old man's back, does that mean everything's settled with the Union? Did you see the dawn? Well... About that, as soon as the Don heard what happened with Harry in Nordopolica, he left the Union. By himself? That's not like him. Where did he go? Well, I think he's headed for Leviathan's Claw's compound, the Manor of the Wicked. What? But Jaeger is the head of Leviathan's Claw. That's so dangerous. Well, I don't think Jaeger'd try anything against the Don. If they went up against the Union, they could lose all of their business, for one. So why did the Don go out there? Hmm. So, anyway, I'm sorry, but the Don's left the city. Well then, should we go to Leviathan's Claw's compound? You believe the old man's intuition? If the Don's going up against Leviathan's Claw, we can't very well sit around and twiddle our thumbs. There's no guarantee the scum won't try to attack him. Well, all right then. I'm not really one for waiting anyway. Patty still isn't back, huh? Then I guess we have no choice. We'll have to leave her behind. Estelle, will you wait here? No. I... I'm going with you. Estelle, don't overdo it. Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. I'm absolutely fine. Estelle... So, you all know where the Manor of the Wicked is? I figured you knew, old man. Aren't you coming with us? Well, yeah. I guess I am. Well then, it's decided. We'll just go pick up Carol and... What the? It sounded from the direction of the bridge. Uh-oh. Let's go and see. Uh-oh. I just... <sighs> wins the baseball game, you know? This is getting outrageous. What's with all these people here? <laughs> The Dawn protected this city from the Empire. He protected our honor. Even if we're the only ones helping, we owe it to the Dawn to protect the city. Hold your horses. Settle down, all of you. What's all this commotion? We've heard that a group from Polistrale has been spotted near Heliord. Their leader got killed thanks to a mistake of one of our own. It's only natural they'd want to talk about the incident. Once they learn the Dawn's left town, Things could get ugly. We must defend the city from them until Dawn returns. You fools. If y'all weren't so eager to fight, Dawn wouldn't have had to leave in the first place. Soon as they learn there's fighting between guilds, don't you think the knights are bound to stick their noses in our business again? Dongrest is independent from the Empire. The Imperial Knights are in no place to tell us what to do. The friendship treaty still ain't finalized yet, you know. 
eerie. Everyone, what do we do? This is going to become a war between guilds if we don't do something. If only the Dawn were here. They say that the Dawn may have gone to the Leviathan's Claw Compound, the Manor of the Wicked. What? Really? Well, probably so. We were about to see if we could go there. Want to come with us? But there's a chance that the Dawn's not there, right? Yeah, it was just the old man's intuition after all. If he's not there, war could break out while we're out looking for him. Yuri, what should we do? What would be best? Well, we should be able to handle the manner of the wicked ourselves. You go ahead and do what you think you should do. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go and talk to everyone. Do you think this is the right choice? We don't have much choice. We can't follow the Dawn and guard the city at the same time. I hope that we find the Dawn at the Manor of the Wicked. We're his backup. If Jaeger's the one Dawn's up against, he'll need all the help he can get. Hey! You even know where you're going? It's straight to the west of here. Hey! Wait for me! <laughs> they just left Raymond and they don't even know where they're going. Dawn, don't get hasty. If the Dawn really did go meet with Jaeger, what could the reason have been? And why would he go alone? It's not to deepen the ties of their friendship, that's for sure. It was probably because he didn't want his subordinates to get wrapped up in the mess. Well, that's just one more example of how much the guilds love doing things the hard way. Upholding every rule, settling every score. Is it all really that important? Hey, if we're going after the Dawn, now's the time. We can have special sharing time later. <laughs> Special sharing time. Wait for me! What the? Whoa. Where are you going? We're going to meet the Dawn. I'm going too. Are you done with what you were doing? My results weren't that good, so I'm going to meet the Dawn like I first planned. I'm warning you though, our destination is Leviathan's Claw Hideout. Hmm? Huh? You really don't get how things turned out that way. That's exactly my kind of place. Then follow me. Hey, hold on. What is it, old man? You do realize what going to the enemy's compound means, right? What it means? We're gonna be on their turf, playing by their rules. If we get there and we're not ready to roll, they could give us a mighty beatdown and it'd be lights out for us. So, you're asking if we're totally prepared to go? We're ready to roll, old man. You sure? You're worrying more than usual. We're ready. Yeah? What? Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Alright, to the manor of the wicked or whatever. I'm assuming it's that place up there. Let's go. Oh, it does look like a spooky place. What sort of fellow is this Don? He's an old man that's just larger than life. In that case, I'm sure meeting him will provide a clue to the riddle of Ifrit. Hmm, Don. Hey guys, Marlene's here. White Horse. Huh? Hmm? Did you say his last name was White Horse? Oh, uh, well, well, you just said it yourself, right? All right. Let's go. I'm guessing this is the manor of the wicked. It's so heavily guarded. We should wait and see what the situation is like first. Can't get too comfortable, though. They're arguing about something. What part of let us in are you having trouble with? Like I said, your timing just seems a little too perfect. Don't you have anything to prove who you say you are? You know what? Actually, we don't. Let us through. The Dawn is here. We don't have time to sit and chat. So, the old man did come here. Bingo. This is our chance to listen in. Oh, <laughs> look, it's Danny's new apartment. <laughs> Didn't you go looking for proof that the hunting blades were after that dragon rider? 
I told you, we received word that the Dawn was headed here before we could arrive at Mount Temza. We couldn't very well ignore news like that, could we? The hunting blades are out to get Judy? What are you waiting for? You won't be any use to Jaeger if we have to give you a beating. Hmm. We'll let you through, but not without an escort. You don't mind, I hope. Whatever, just let us in. What luck! Now there's less guards to worry about. Guess we better strike while the iron's hot. Who, who the hell are you? Hey! Baseball! Nice, repeat. This enemy doesn't look so nice. You wanna run away? Wow, oh, oh, ow. Can you heal me? Jesus! These guys are tough. That a little too rough for you? Nice. I think we're still in the clear. So let's make what they're getting inside. Why do you think the hunting blades would be after Judith? If they're looking for Epithea, maybe they want the dragon she was riding. If he's an Entelechea, he might become an Epithea like Bellius. I mean, when he dies. Which means Harry's request wasn't the only reason they wanted to take Bellius down. They want those Apatheas something bad. Judy! Judy might be in trouble, but we should help the Dawn out first. Especially with those two charming young ladies in there. Aye! Let's be quick and clean this place up! Sure. We should be on our way. I'm just worried about Judith. So you'll be going to Mount Timza? But the Dawn... We're practicing deciding for ourselves, remember? Let's move. I'm coming too! She'd be upset if I left the Dawn like this to go looking for her. I can just hear her saying, My, what did you think you were doing? Don't worry about that, lady. She's tough. Alright, let's get the old Dawn out of this place. Looks like we found one more thing we can't ignore. Okay. Dear Lord, alright. Judith in trouble. Whoa! Open the door! Our formation's all over the place! This is awesome. Trick, trick! What? You're seeing those light spears? Lightspear, Kratos, are you here? Yes, yeah, what I'm thinking. Trick, trick. Look. White horse. That's the dawn. Stand back. Didn't you say Leviathan's claw would never try something like this, old man? The dawn's the one that started all this. What? Then that means the old man's. Just what do you think you're doing here, you damn fools? Bringing young ones to a place like this? Bravo! I really should thank you for such a heart-rending performance. What the hell's he talking about? Uh, get out of the way! Prepare to meet your doom! Alright. blow you away! You knew it was coming! You know, no! No! I've been stopped! The ass <laughs> The Azure uh, chain. Are you 
Oh my god, can you chill? Crazy to do this alone. I did it. Good job. They have the weirdest eyes. Where's the Don? He's gone after Jaeger. Let's go. I <laughs> like the Jaeger's just got a portrait of himself. I never would have guessed we'd have to chase down the Don and then go make Judith talk. It looks like the hunting blades are on the move too. I want to know how Leviathan's Claw managed to get that information. I'm sure there's something they're after. Judith. I know you're worried, but let's just deal with what's right in front of us for now. Right. Let's look for the Don. That's a great picture of Jaeger though. Oh. oh god, I'm just in time. I got him just in time. This one's strong. Don't just stand there. Whining. Watch out. This one's tough. Oh my goodness. Think. Think before Can you talk you about how beautiful that was? I, I'm sorry. We're done. Seriously, we're just done. Timmy Jimmy, thanks for the five dollar donation. This is fine, everything is fine. Sorry, bud. Game gets brutal if you don't grind. Alright, back when games were good, am I right? <laughs> Listen, there's no grinding for me. Minimal grinding, alright? Minimal Timmy Jimmy. Maybe a little bit. Until we run into it like something we really can't beat. It's Ruby Wanda. But who uses a wand? TV, I don't need you to turn yourself off right now. Um uh, No, we don't do that. Fine. Uh Oh wow, that's quite the increase. This little piece of clothing will keep your tummy snug and warm. Adorable. Ooh, I want that. What's the rebirth ring? If you're lucky, this might resurrect you from KO during battle. Ooh. Let's just give you that. I'm going to put on... No, you don't need that. Let's put Rebirth Ring on for you. You can just press R on the joystick for best equipment. Oh, I did not know you could do that. Hang on. R, huh? Not much different than I was already doing, but cool! 
Uh, let's give you... That. That's... Okay, I didn't know you could do that. That actually saves me a lot of time looking at stats. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't work on accessories, but it's nice that, um... I don't have that option. <laughs> That's over. Hooray for the old man. Yeah, old man, good job. something right and carved onto the underside of the shelf. You can just make it out. Why do we have to wear hoods and coats while gauche and drought wear shorts, short skirts? We get so clammy and hot. We're burning up. Our goggles are steaming up. Oh, what a world. <laughs> and happiness in the workplace. Oh, hello. You'll be gone soon enough. I love this new combo. Let's go. Failed. Party's full. Okay. Whatever. We tried cooking once, and Yuri sucked. Okay. I wonder what they were thinking, building a big manor out in the middle of nowhere like this. Isn't it obvious? Crooked plots and intrigue. We should hurry and finish what we need to do before we get caught up in anything. That's not so bad here, Estelle. Why not take our time and get the full tour? Are you thinking of exposing some crooked plots and intrigue while we're here? Nah, I wasn't thinking about any of that. Being in someone's home is just so relaxing is all. I can't believe you. We don't have time for this. We're going on ahead, old man. Uh, no, no, wait for me! Uh, NM, welcome to the cult! Thank you! What a good time to join. We're, we're a guild now, because we're not even just a cult. We're forming a guild. Our guild is called... What's our guild called? We gotta register it, and then we gotta make guild rules. One is always be speedy. Never slow down. But... Th and then, thank you so much. Oh, ah, ah. Good dog. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> Always don't reach out, yeah, it's right. Let's go. Okay, guys, kill. Right, 
<laughs> oh my god, his spell just got dropped. Got him. I'll do my best. Shall I heal you? I got this one guy. Can you fuck off? You. What you gonna do? Tractor beam! Yeah! Look at that! Oh, beautiful finish. Tractor beam, aliens are real. Got enough swords on that wall? I never dreamed you'd try anything this risky. I finally made up my mind that this mud ball would be a much prettier place without you on it. The other master guilds surely won't like you ignoring the union's laws for your personal vendetta. And I'll face the consequences. But it's daybreak now. Looks like I've underestimated your touch. I'm out of time. If I don't get myself back to Dongrest, those fools are gonna start a war with each other. Oh, I think it's a bit late to prevent that little accident from happening. A couple of eggs might have to be broken, but I'm prepared to pay a price. A price? You still got us to deal with, Jaeger. Well, it looks like the tide's taken a turn. Yeah, indeed. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> Just out Damn, the window. That a regular vanishing act. Now what's with all of you? Just how you figure coming down here be the smart thing to do? Hmm. Who's that little kid? I ain't no little kid. I'm Patty. I'm sorry about that. Patty, huh? Why don't you come over here and show me your face? Now this is a surprise. Huh? You're a dead ringer for Eifried. The very spitting image. Huh? Then it really is true that Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? Granddaughter? You're his... Huh. Huh. I never heard nothing about that scoundrel having a granddaughter. Huh. So Patty's guess was right on the mark. As his relative, I bet you must have suffered quite a bit over Eifried's infamous incident. I've got my own reasons for following Eifried's trail. I thought that since you were his friend, Don, you might know something. It'd be an exaggeration to say that we were ever friends. He just did whatever he wanted to do. I never knew where he was or what he was doing. And I ain't got a clue about that now, either. I see. Haven't you met him somewhere recently? Hmm. Have I? Can't rightly say. This is a keepsake left by an ally of yours. We were asked to bring it to you. <sighs> Looks like I caused you all some trouble. Of all the... Why'd she have to wind up like this? Tractor comes from the Latin word for drag. Oh, that's actually really cool info, Hannah. Thank you. Just what is an apatheia, anyway? Well, you see... I'm afraid I don't have time to explain it now. I uh, hate to cut and run, but I'll leave the rest of these guys to you. Wait. How noble. We should think about getting out of here, too. Hey, let me try and buy the old man some time. Raven? Come on. Guess we'd better. Let's eliminate them! I didn't want to have to go. 
Super Saiyan. I really didn't want to have to come to this, but I have no choice. I hate you so much, Danny. <laughs> oh, jeez. The Don would be crazy to do this alone. Hey, Rita, you good? I'm not done yet. I think it's about time. I agree. You don't mean. Oh, I'm good dog. You're sleeping on the bed. Oh, repeat. Come on. Not on the bed. Oh, my God. This is why we take you on walks. I can't believe this dog isn't pie train. Who's gonna pay for that window? I got a bad feeling about this. We should get back to Dongris. Spitting image. And the spitting image of Ifri. Not the picture I had in my head. Indeed. I thought he'd be an imposing figure like Don. I'm all muddled. I need to ask Don for more details. Oh, Rita, not looking good. Looking a little green there. Cool. All right, we made it out. Now back to Dongress. Oh, boy. I'm just getting started. Same man. Your outfit? Oh, come on, you don't have to say it like that. The Union and Polystrolli are squaring off against each other with Hopeful and Blastia! The Dawn is back, but something's not right! So, he made it back in time. Looks like my hunch was right, though. What do you mean, your hunch? He's been planning for this to end in his death all along. What? Why would he want to do something like that? To... set things right? Bellius died because of Harry's rash behavior. She's the Duce of Nordopolica. You can't just say, sorry, I got some bad information, which means there's gotta be compensation to make up for losing Bellius. So the price Don mentioned back at the Manor of the Wicked was... His own life. Once he made up his mind to sacrifice himself, taking down Jaeger wasn't a problem, even if it meant going against the laws. No, he can't do that! There has to be some other way. Both sides are at the breaking point, though. This thing could go off at the drop of a hat. And if it starts, it'll mean all-out war between the Union and Polistrale. Not sure we have the time to find some other way. <sighs> I'm going with Carol. Fedeca, that thing you mentioned in Stream Ma Chat, the event in this game that's... Uh, when is that? That's not now, is it? 
Maybe later on? Like, sooner, but like, not yet. Right now, oh, okay. Perfect, glad I asked. Let's do it. Hang on a sec, let me just reread what you said to do. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, sorry, bless me. Um, one sec. I have to reread something. Gotta find it again. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's do it now. Oh. Wait, I can't. I can't. I was supposed to be doing something, but I can't do it. I can't sleep at the inn right now. You pronounce pasta as pasta? Oh, <laughs> you sure bet I do. Oh, this one. Okay. Okay. This one I was asking. All right. Um... How, many, how much longer are the events right in front of us? Just so I know how to uh, continue this stream. Because I need to wrap up soonish. It's 11 p.m. now. Or past 11 p.m. 11.08. Five minutes or so? Oh, no big deal. Okay, let's just do that then. And then we can, uh, we can wrap things up. Oh, look at that. They fade in and out. That's called rendering distances. Wow. Danny, how do you pronounce it? Lasagna? You're a boss now, right? Kidding, it's lasagna, but. But it's like there's nothing I can do on my own. So then ask for help. That's what friends are for, right? Don! Take good care of them, they'll be there whenever you need them. I'm coming with you. Like hell you are. <laughs> okay. Oh. <Okay. laughs> I was drinking something. I almost just spat that up. Oh my god. Well, old man, it's been fun. Raven, you better nail Jaeger for me. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. <laughs> That's a heavy load for somebody like me. Nailing Jaeger? Big load? You're the only one I can ask. White horse. Hey, wait, is that kid- is Harry still alive? Did anyone check for a pulse? Like, that was the- that was more than just a Rita slap. That was- that was a raven punch. Little lady, try going underground to the storeroom in the city's tavern. Hmm. There's a wall there inscribed with Eifried's name. If you're his granddaughter, it ain't a bad idea to take a glimpse at the kind of things he did and how he lived. <sighs> We're so grateful for everything your darling grandson's done to us. Really. The boy has made a mess of things. He may be my idiot grandson, but he's also a full member of the Union. It falls upon any leader to take responsibility for the mistakes of their people. So say the laws. Take me, then. Let my head atone for Bellius. Don. Idiot. These guilds. They're all filled with nutcases. So, who's gonna be my second? It would be my honor. Guess you're stuck doing a job nobody much wants. You too. <laughs> no kidding. Yuri, I was looking forward to watching you go places. <laughs> I'll make sure to save you a spot in hell. I don't think they led me into the hell you're going to. <laughs> I won't forget that attitude, boy. And I won't forget your resolve, Don Whitehorse. 
gone! Listen up. You all gotta stand on your own two feet from here on. There's a new age coming. So get out there and make it for yourselves. here seems to have calmed down. Hey, the dog's dead. Feels more like they're expecting the end of the world. So Don Whitehorse has passed. Carol's been taking the Don's passing pretty hard, too. And it looks like things are keeping the old man busy. I guess it comes with being a member of Altosk. Huh. I haven't seen Patty for a while now. She might be in the sewer tunnels. Oh, right. That's what the Don was talking about. He gave up his own life to make amends for what happened. The guilds take their laws pretty seriously. The pride of living by the laws of the guild? Taking responsibility. Accepting the choices he'd made. The Don practiced what he preached. <laughs> Wake me up. When the game starts. And he was willing to stake his life on those beliefs. Responsibility. Choices. I've got to get these things figured out myself. Best to start with our guild. With Brave Vesperia. Yuri? Where are you? Just going for a walk. He probably went looking for Carol. Carol. Now my hands have killed someone I never wanted to kill. Don, that feeling still hasn't left my hands. You really were a piece of work, old man. Jeez. Yeah, we, we're losing a lot of people today. Now, where's sweet old little Carol? Where would, uh, Carol be? Hey, fix the bridge. By the tavern. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait. Where's the tavern? Is this the tavern? I forget. I literally forget. Tavern. Wrong tavern. Oh man, when you're in a town full of Oh yeah, this place, cool. There, there's the kid. Uh, James, thanks for the $5 donation. Danny, go to the bar above the sewer and talk to the lady by the bar for more accessories, including the one for repeat with all the dolls. Oh, no, I got I got the dolls for repeat by accident, by unlocking something. But... Thank you, James. Um, unless there's more dolls? Yuri... Yuri, why do I have a mustache? I... there wasn't anything I could do. Danny, the one with all of them at once. Oh, I didn't know... Th okay. The Dawn and all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say. 
so I was thinking I should try talking with Paula Strale instead. But they might be done talking, and just attack anyway. When I thought that, I... I was too scared to go alone. So I ended up not going at all. I'm not good for anything. What about Judy? Weren't you gonna look for her? I can't. I can't go with you anymore, Yuri. Just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Is that it, then? Is that all guilds and brave Vesperia mean to you? Just walking away from the dream like that? But I wanted to be the best guild! To be useful to the Dawn! For him to notice me! He's been a role model for me, and now he's not around. So you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it the Dawn died for? You, of all people, should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri! You never understand how I feel! I'm not tough like you! There's no way I can be like you in the dawn! It's over! Our guild is... Carol! Don't you remember all the dawn told you? Did you forget his resolve? <sighs> As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Temza to find Judy. Huh? Ray Vesperia will go on. Even if you don't, this guild is more than just you now. <laughs> I don't want to run away. I don't want to, but... Oh my god. That was my title in my family, too. All right. Uh, wow, that was kind of heartbreaking, actually. Do, do I sleep at the inn now? Is is it in time now, or do I have to go get the group back? No, the party needs to be back together. All righty. Yeah, this has been a heavy stream, guys. Damn! Wow, a lot of lot of stuff going on. I love Carol so much. He reminds me of a friend. The relationship that Yuri and Carol have, the relationship I once had with a friend. Similar. Oh, where'd my friend- where'd everyone go? Did you go to jail? <laughs> Where's my friends? Uh, where, where would my, my party be? <laughs> oh, she's, she's right there. She was right there. Carol, do you think he'll be all right? He'll be fine. But... Well, now, if it isn't the darling boy and girl, how very nice to see you both. Oh. Jaeger! Why do they walk like that? <laughs> You've got some nerves showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking Palastrale is a matter for the Union to decide. Yep, that's right. We just helped inform their decision. <laughs> exactly. Understand, my little friends? I'll give you something to smile about. That's enough for today, I think. It is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. We're still in mourning, you'll see. <laughs> the world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without support dawn around, but... 
How did he do that? Uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. I don't want to disgrace the Dawn by doing something I'll regret later. You should leave before I change my mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. Even Jaeger is mourning the Dawn. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Don Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's Claw, but maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Yeah. To the Don, there was Jaeger the boss and Jaeger the person. The Don did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. I also left a message at the inn for Patty. I said he'll be fine. Let's go. Where are Carol and Patty? What is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now that we know the hunting blades are out to get Judith, we've got to try and help her. We're not obligated to do anything for her. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her. I knew it! <laughs> what are you talking about? We might, is all I said. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself going to come? It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Oh, Patty's here. Did you have a look at what your grandpa left behind? I... I engraved it all firmly in my memory. So did it help you remember anything? Mmm... It doesn't look like things are going to go quite so well. But I can't let myself get discouraged by something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is it okay for me to be with you guys a little longer? I don't mind. Okay, let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the Dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm gonna miss him. Eh, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned there certainly oh, are crap. plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desire. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. We'll be going to Desire by ship. Looks like that's where I come in. All right, let's head to the ship. Now? Oh, shit, run the ship. It's Carol. Wait! I'm going with you. I might not fully understand the things the Dawn wanted to tell me yet, but Great Vesperia is my... No, our guild. So, so I've got to come with you guys. Carol? I think if I ran away, if I abandoned my friends, that'd be the end. I couldn't come back. That's why... That's why I've got to go. Please let me come too. Of course. <laughs> You're the boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks. But don't call me boss anymore. Hmm? I... 
I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss. I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. All right! It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. That's exactly what's so good about the guilds. I think. Hmm, yeah. Quite true, <laughs> there you. isn't it? Ah! Hey, old man! Ma, how glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? Well, don't you have your hands full with the dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse, and there wasn't a tear left in me. Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. <laughs> so not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Dawn's parting words. <laughs> what are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right. We'll leave it at that. Oh, man. These kids today, I tell you. Traveling in a group is loads of fun. It's so lively. Look at, look at Patty's face. What is that face? This isn't lively. It's rowdy. Didn't I, I tell that you that face. before? So now we can depart for Desert, <laughs> right? Huh? What Why is she still doing there? it? That's a pretty good hunch you had there. Mount Thames is north of the Sansa Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Right. So are we going, or aren't we? Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Hoist the sails! The Fiertia is off to sea! She ran into that pipe, I like that. Okay. Let's do the in thing, and then we'll wrap up stream. All right, time to serve up some orders. Serve up some orders? Uh, it's just that wearing this puts me in the mood to be serving customers. You know, those clothes make you look a little more macho than usual, kid. Really? <laughs> you think so? So, I guess that means Carol will be cooking dinner tonight. Wait, you were supposed to cook tonight, Raven? Hold on, I mean... Hey! You heard the man, Carol. <laughs> I can't believe there was... <laughs> I didn't know there was a, a conversation about his outfit. Alright, uh, to the inn. So, if uh, I read that right, I have to sleep at the inn four times to trigger... A scene? An event? A thing? Something? Oh, he's dead. Hey, Carol, can't sleep? Yeah, I had this bad dream. Bad dream? I was dreaming that everyone was about to die, and I was trying to run to save them, but no matter how hard I ran, I never got any closer. Sounds like a pretty bad dream, yeah. I got so scared that I woke up. Well, if you can't sleep, at least you won't be keeping up, us up with all your noise. You don't know? Well, maybe that makes sense. Carol, you talk in your sleep. A lot. How would I know that? I'm asleep when it happens. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Carol, if you're still shaken up about the Don's death, it's not what happened to the Dawn. I don't know what I should do for Brave Vesperia. I don't even know what I can do. I still have to figure that out. I see. And that's why I've been having trouble sleeping. Do you have worries that are keeping you up, Yuri? Nah, not me. I'm a man of action. <laughs> Thinking about things too much just makes my head hurt. I prefer moving my body rather than those rusty gears in my head. It suits my personality better. Your personality, huh? I wonder what suits my personality better. Maybe if you went to sleep and had a good dream, it could help you figure things out a bit. I can't keep running away to my dreams. You wouldn't be running away. You'd be dreaming so that you can come back to us. Yeah. I'm sure once I go back to the inn and lie down, I'll be able to sleep. Don't worry about me. You go on ahead. Gotcha. Eat. 
Even if he reasons things out in his head, his heart is slow to follow suit. Guess that's just how he is. Insomnia. It's all about the ears. Wow, Rita, you look different than you usually do. Oh, it's do. a cat outfit. You look cute. Are you saying I normally don't look cute? N no, that's not what I meant. Well, it's not like I care anyway. Hey, Yuri, you think she looks cute, right? Don't you? Huh? Yeah. I like those cat ears, I guess. Just the ears? Oh, come on, Yuri. Why are you being so shy? Your face is turning red. <laughs> the ears are the problem. What's that supposed to mean? Dawn. I have to. I have to get stronger. Oh, now you're fighting the wind too, Carol. That was a good one. I like that cutscene. A lot of character development. And voyeurism. Yuri in is into cat girls confirmed. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, remember when I wore cat ears during the mail time video? I'm Yuri's type. Wow, you startled me. Huh? Aren't you... Harry, right? Were you practicing here last time too? Oh, yeah, I always have trouble sleeping whenever I come back to the city. Because of the dawn? Yeah, I want to be strong like he was. Every time I think of what he did, I feel like I have to work harder. You can borrow this. What's this? It's the sword that the Don used. It's heavy. It feels uh, heavier than it looks. Yes, all of the responsibility of holding the guild together is contained in that sword. Yeah. I'll let you use it whenever you're practicing here. It should make for better training than what you've had in the past. I can use this sword? I'm just lending it to you, though. You have to give it back in the morning. I still need to work on mastering it myself. I see. Thank you. The Don's sword. All right, then. Yeah. You have to wear the cat ears for like modern time now. Oh wait. Wow, that looks surprisingly good on you, old man. I'm surprised you're surprised. Of course it looks great. Yeah, that sort of messy look suits you pretty well. Well, I didn't expect a naive young lady like yourself to understand an adult's subtle grace. Why would I want to understand that? So that's an adult subtle grace, huh? Hmm? I feel like it's boosting your natural sketchiness more and more. <laughs> oh, that I understand. No, no, no. Eh, no, no, no. Yeah! Yeah! Your stance is still too weak. You'll never be as good as a fighter as the Don was, uh, was like that. Ugh. Ria, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Imagine your opponent in front of you and swing the sword just so. Right. Yeah, Rhea. Okay, one more attack and then take a break. Right, dragon uppercut. Oh. Oh, oh man. Oh boy. Looks like you've gotten pretty good at using a sword. May maybe, but I still have a long way to go. Huh? My man purse. I can't even talk shit. I have one of those too. Fuck. <laughs> Looks like you've surprised me. What do you mean? You've learned that weapon art that's stored in that weapon. Uh oh, I see. But what's this art? The Don used this weapon. It's got to be a good one, right? Yeah, seems like it. You've surpassed me. You won't need to borrow this weapon anymore, I think. Yeah, right. Thank you, Harry. Carol learned the special skill, in quotes. Carol's got the same fashion sense as me. I don't carry backpacks. I carry satchels. But not quite as big as his bag. I don't think I could kill someone with my bag. Carol could kill... He does kill people with his bag. Bowing. Our swords for freedom. Our shield for friendship. 
Our lives for the common good. The union oath, huh? Do you suppose Eifried lived according to those words? Or did the wind blow differently? Well, the fact that Eifried's signature is on the oath is no simple twist of fortune. I. Well, we'll just have to take up the oath for Don and Eifried then, won't we? Well, Don, looks like the youth have picked up the torch you and Eifried once carried. Is that it? Am I done? Is that the last one? We good? We Gucci? That's it for the side quest. All right, neat. All right, um, yeah, that's probably where we're gonna wrap up stream then. This was a uh, went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I wanted to get all that out of the way, and I think this is a good place to end. You know, with a new destination in sight instead of just leaving it in the middle of the dawn dying or something uh so it wrapped up pretty well the stream was a bit darker some heavier stuff happened uh it was raven's idea apparently we'll get to that next time though <laughs> but that's the end for this stream yeah so the story has some uh some heavier tones now but i think that's good i mean it's not good some of the bad stuff happening but it's a, it's a good story so yeah i hope you all enjoyed Tales of Asperia tonight. Oh, I do have some donations to finish off, though. But I hope you enjoyed tonight. Um, Cameron, thanks for the $5 donation. Please tell me the whiteboard will be brought out soon. Hopefully, yes. We'll see. Uh, as I'm, When I get settled into the new place, I could probably find a way to pull it out. So, we'll see. We'll see. We, it should be about time. Uh, I might need Vedica's help to uh, help me uh, summarize it. Um, because I don't want to miss it. There's a lot that's happened now. So, we'll see. Thank you, Cameron. Maple, thanks to the two dollar donation. Of course, signature gift. <laughs> Thank you, Maple. At Chew to you too. And Mewtwo, thanks to the five dollar donation. You're just a little adventure boy, Danny. I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> thanks, Mewtwo. I'm just a little adventure boy. That's what they call me. That's me. You started stream at Yorm Yormgen, right? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh my god, Vedica, why don't you drive down here? Oh, it's border. That's a whole problem. Okay, Vedica, why don't you sneak past the border? And then, I know you actually have uh, a warrant for your arrest in Canada, but come on down and uh, do the whiteboard with me. I'm super glad I was here for the whole stream this time. It was really good. Well, Adrian, I'm glad you were here. And same goes to everyone. I hope everyone had uh, had a had a good stream, despite the uh, the sad stuff. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the end of this. So I will be streaming. I still at some point there will be a bonus stream. I don't know what day it is. Uh, it'll be. It just depends when I have free time. I want to do a villager hunting stream, like I said, because I want when I oust Winnie from Animal Crossing. Uh, and get someone new. It'll be a shorter stream unless it takes me forever to find someone good. Uh, at some point. I don't know exactly what day it'll be. Just whenever I have free time. Friday. Uh, we're going to continue Paper Mario Origami King. I still don't know how I feel about the game. And having time to think about it. About what happened. And like how the game's played out so far. I I don't know. We're going to see. I don't want to diss it yet. But we're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> I'm not going to whine yet. All right, but I'll see you guys at the minimum Friday. And, uh, yeah, everyone take care. Have a good rest of your week. Be safe. Wear your mask. And, uh, yeah, take care. I love you guys. Danny, I played a good deal. I think you'll like the story. It grows on you. All right, I'm actually very happy to hear that. So, <laughs> it's good. All right. Good night, guys. See you next time.